Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh boy, super confusing about the uh, <clears throat> the Reader's Digest journals. I got so many messages because I totally uh, botched the date and time that I was going to list these in my Etsy shop. And um, yeah, I keep getting April and May confused and Monday and Tuesday also apparently. So anyway, these are listed in my Etsy shop right now. What I meant to say yesterday on my video, it was like a preview of these, um, was that they would be available Monday, uh, May 3rd. <laughs> so anyway, so hopefully that's today and they are active right now. There's about, at the time of this recording, which is at about 8 p.m., um, I think there's nine left. So if you saw that video and you were confused about when I was listing them and all that, they're there. So, and there's about nine left. Okay. And then I also had talked to you guys about a ledger paper pack that I was putting together from the gigantic ledgers that I showed you yesterday and also some of the other stuff from, uh, from Louise. So let me just show you what, what I put together. And these are going to be listed in my Etsy shop also. I pulled pages from, I think, five ledgers, six ledgers maybe. Um, so two, two of them were the ones that I got from, um, from Regina. So these were from the general store books. So these are like 18, this one's 1886. So there's a couple pages from that one. And then there, this one is 1894. It's a little bit different handwriting. It's actually like easier to read. Um, so there's a couple pages from that one also. And then this is the one that's the French ledger from the butcher shop. And it was the one that I said was like my favorite of all the ones that I just got um, because I just love the writing. So, so there's a, a full, well, this one has some not written on, but um, primarily written on double page and then one blank page from that book. And it's just because there, there wasn't that many pages in it. And so anyway, and then I pulled three full double pages from the, um, what was it? I was calling it the Gringotts uh, bank ledger. Uh, the gigantic green one. So, and and I got a little bit of information from Louise about where these where these were actually from. This one is from the bank from a bank. Um, has lots of blank paper, so that's really cool. And you know, you can scan this. You can scan this paper and print it out. There's no copyright on this. You know, on this layout. Um, you could even you know, copy the, the text and stuff. So anyway, so a couple double pages from actually three from that book. And then I pulled some pages from that other, uh, oversized French ledger that I had before that I had offered pages from, and this is from like a travel agency and it just has the most beautiful writing in it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And this is so much paper about, I mean, it really does go a long way, especially if you're using it in like for making tags and things like that. And then this, um, this was the big, huge black one that I showed you yesterday. Uh, this one is actually from like a notary. And <clears throat> so he did, he or she did, um, notary services for all kinds of different businesses. And so that's kind of what this column is, is like what type of note, you know, notary, what type of document needed a notary. So that's what that is. Um, that's what this one's from. So I pulled from this, like the middle of the ledger. So these are like 1937. Um, it, the, the book actually dates back to like 18, 80 something, but, and it goes through like 1945. So I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway, so you got pages from about the middle of the book. Um, <clears throat> so when I, when I asked for feedback on whether or not 
you guys minded if I folded these gently. Most people said they were okay with folding them. So I'm going to go with folding them rather than trying to roll them up and put them into like a priority mail um, mailer um, just because it's so much more expensive. I mean, to, to send those in a rolled, um, like in a long box would probably be about $15, 15 to $18 in the U S. So I just really don't want to do that anyway. So these will fit into, if I, if I fold them in half, I have oversized envelopes that I can put them in anyway. So that's the ledger pages. And then I went through all of the, uh, all the other like bank ephemera that I got from Louise and I just sorted it out by type into a bunch of piles. And so I just gave you, you know, a, I pulled from, so like this was kind of like the same type of document, but I gave you like a green one and a yellow one. And then um, one of these, I don't know what it is, it's some kind of receipt. And then this, this little form, that's got some cool writing on both sides and this little it's like a check stub or something and then this is um i think this is actually a check like a bank like a counter check or something i don't know and then i had a few of these old um photo albums where the covers were just in horrible condition and i really don't think there's any way to rebuild them um, but they had beautiful pages in them and so i just went ahead and, and took those apart and added two pages uh, each from a different album. So I don't know. I just thought, you know, if you're making a journal, especially like a grungy kind of vintage style journal, you might be able to incorporate one of these or something into like your cover or something. I don't know, but they're really, really pretty. So I just added one more like ornate one. There's a, there's two styles one of them has like floral stuff all over it. This one has um, just like a, you know, more like a, I don't know what flower that is. Can't, I know what kind of flower that is, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And then one that's just more simple. So one kind of floral one and one simple one. Okay, so that's the little ledger page pack. And what I'm doing is I'm just folding these, folding them. I'm not creasing the, the fold. Um, hopefully they won't, you know, they won't be damaged or anything. And then, then these, I'm just kind of wrapping around that stuff in the center and then wrapping that one around. And then I'll just tuck it into the envelope. So actually, I think what I'm going to do is before I seal these up, I'm going to go ahead and insert the pages into a plastic bag, like a plastic mailer, and then put it in the paper one so that it has some protection from, uh, from the elements, from rain and snow and all that, just in case, you know, just in case it's, it's wet in your area or your postman drops it or something or whatever. Anyway, so I've got these available. I will put these in my Etsy shop also. And so I made 20 of them. They'll be available as soon as this video posts. Um, I'll put a link in the description. So you can grab one of these if you want. Uh, if I run out of them, um, I can probably do more ledger page packs. I don't have any more of the photo album pages, but I could probably put together some more of these bundles. I just don't ever know like how many to make up. And so if you notice that they're gone, um, send me a message on Etsy or something and, and let me know that you're interested in one. And then I can just put your name on a list. And then when I have time, I can put together another run of them. Okay. Uh, they might be just a little bit different, but I've got, anyway, I've got lots of pages from those, those ledgers. If you saw the gigantic one, you know what I mean? So, and then this is, um, I still have about eight of those other paper packs that I had offered that were like by request, you know? So it's got the onion skin and 
the penmanship paper, the like primary school penmanship paper, uh, some grid papers and things like that, and also some um, and like uh, paper bags and things like that. There's a, a video back about three or four videos where I showed you what's in these. I sealed them all up, so I don't want to take it apart and show you exactly, but I just wanted to let you know that there are still about eight of these available also, okay? So that is that, uh, short and quick. I do have some little projects that I'd like to start working on now that I have these journals done, and I've got these page packs done, and um, I'm, I have a couple things that I want to get done before I start on anything brand new, and one of those things is I really want to just make some tags. I want to use up some, some uh, file folder scraps and some cardstock scraps and stuff like that and and just make some tags and just play you know I also want to make some labels using some of this ledger so anyway thanks guys I love you I'll see you soon okay bye for now